Comet Seeley 2025 F2, also known as Comet Swan, has made a glowing entrance into our skies, an icy traveler from the far reaches of our solar system. This stunning green comet has captivated both amateur and professional astronomers alike. But what makes it so special? Beyond its luminous tail lies a tale of cosmic rarity and scientific wonder, offering insights into the early solar system and the dynamic forces that shape these celestial visitors. In this video, we will explore how Comet Swan was discovered, what makes it so fascinating, and how and when you can catch it lighting up the sky before it vanishes for hundreds of thousands of years. Discovery through a digital eye. Comet Swan's journey into the spotlight began in late March 2025, thanks not to a massive observatory, but to the keen eyes of two amateur astronomers, Vladimir Bazugi from Ukraine and Michael Madiazzo from Australia. They independently spotted a faint moving object in imagery taken by the SW Solar Wind Anisotropies instrument on the SH Solar and Heliospheric Observatory spacecraft. This space-based instrument detects ultraviolet emissions from hydrogen, making it an unexpected yet powerful comet hunter. The observations began on March 22 with the comet's magnitude around 11, which is faint but visible with good equipment. By March 29, it was 1.62 astronomical units from Earth and just under one astronomical unit from the Sun, still far, but closing in fast. Astronomers quickly analyzed archival images and found that the comet had actually been visible, though much dimmer, as early as September 2024, at a faint magnitude 2. This backward look gave researchers critical data to chart the comet's trajectory and prepare for what was coming. Nature's Green Lantern Comet Swan's vibrant green coma immediately drew attention. This glowing green is the result of gases like diatomic carbon, C2, and cyanogen, Cn, being excited by ultraviolet sunlight. As these molecules become energized, they emit that signature emerald hue, a glowing reminder of the rich chemistry hiding inside cometary bodies. Adding to the spectacle, Swan has developed a long luminous tail stretching up to two degrees across the sky in photograph. This tail, made of gas and dust pushed by the solar wind, always points away from the sun. As the comet nears perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, its icy nucleus begins to sublimate, releasing more materials and expanding the coma and tail in dramatic fashion. From an orbital perspective, Comet Swan is practically on a parabolic path, with an eccentricity of 0.999 si. This means it hasn't visited the inner solar system for about 70,000 years, likely during the Paleolithic era. After swinging past the sun at just 0.33333 astronomical units on May 1, 2025, gravitational effects will stretch its orbit even further to about 740,000 years. So yes, this is our one and only chance to see it before it drifts back into the frozen outer reaches of space. How, when, and why to catch it? As with all comets, timing and location are everything. In early April 2025, Comet SWN was seen in the constellation Pegasus, visible in the pre-dawn northeastern sky. As the month progressed, it journeyed through Andromeda and Triangulum, inching closer to evening visibility. Around May 1st, during its perihelion, it will pass near the Pleiades star cluster in Taurus, a perfect photo opportunity for anyone with a telescope or DSLR camera. Observers in the Northern Hemisphere will have the best chance to spot Comet Swan about 70 minutes before sunrise by looking toward the northeastern horizon. Forecasts indicated that the comet will gradually brighten from approximately magnitude 7 around April 10 to magnitude 5 by April 20. This means that during the final week of April, it could become faintly visible to the naked eye from dark sky locations, free of light pollution. However, for a clearer and more detailed view, binoculars or a small telescope are highly recommended. In the southern hemisphere, the comet will become better positioned after its closest approach to the sun, perihelion, rising higher in the evening sky. When searching for it, look for a soft circular glow in the sky, accompanied by a slender faint extension trailing behind. This is the comet's ion tail, shaped by the solar wind. Comets like this carry pristine materials from the early solar system, 
acting like frozen time caps. As Swan sheds its ices and gases, astronomers get to study its composition and activity, unlocking clues about how the planets, including Earth, might have formed. Even more exciting, Swan had a dramatic outburst in early April, suddenly brightening as subsurface ices were exposed, likely due to cracking from thermal stress. These sudden changes offer scientists a peek inside the comet's structure and thermal behavior, information that's nearly impossible to gather otherwise. This comet is also a case study in citizen science. While SOHO and other space telescopes continuously monitor space, it was amateur astronomers analyzing public data who spotted SWN first. Their contribution sparked a global response, proving that space discovery isn't reserved for professionals alone. It's a powerful reminder of how collaboration between amateurs and experts keeps astronomy dynamic and accessible. Looking forward, what we learn from SWAN will shape missions like ES's Comet Interceptor, which aims to study dynamically new comets like SWAN in real time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more cosmic stories and skywatching guides. And as always, clear skies and see you next time.